Let's have a look on creating a duotone effect using two fill layers. We could of course use a gradient map to create a similar effect. But before adding the gradient map adjustment, let's remove the color and increase the brightness. To remove the color, I will add an HSL adjustment by pressing the shortcut key Command U or Ctrl U and then lower the saturation to zero. To increase the brightness, I will just add a brightness and contrast adjustment and increase the brightness value to about 20%. Now we can add our gradient map. Once we have our gradient map, I'm going to remove the middle note and use a blue for the darker color and a bright purple for the light color. The blue I use is way too bright, so I will need to decrease its lightness. This looks about right. Let's also fine-tune the pink to increase the contrast. Maybe a little adjustment on the blue again, and here we have a nice duotone effect. Pretty cool. As you might have noticed, it takes quite a bit of fine-tuning to get a nice duotone effect using the gradient adjustment. Let me share a much easier method by using two fill layers and playing with the blend modes. So I will first add a fill layer with the blue we started with, which will be the color used for the darker areas. I will then set its blend mode to screen. Next, we add our second fill layer and set its color to the light purple we used earlier. The blend mode we are going to use with this layer is going to be multiply. And have a look at that, pretty awesome. We got ourselves a perfect duotone effect. Because the two fill layers compensate and correct each other using the blend modes, you can easily experiment with different colors. If I change the blue to green, the duotone effect is adjusted automatically. If I turn off these two fill layers and try to do the same with the gradient map, notice how this takes much more effort to get a similar result. Let me undo the color change and share some additional tips with this effect. You can adjust the brightness and the contrast adjustment below to control the effect. The brightness will control the strength of the purple color, whereas the contrast will control the blue color. By default, this effect will create a more flat duotone. If you would like a more stronger duotone effect, you can change the blend melt of the lower fill layer to color dodge. Pretty awesome. To compare this effect with a gradient map, let's do an experiment by adding a rectangle and apply a black and white gradient below the adjustments. So basically, this is the gradient map. I will make a copy of this gradient map and add this copy above the adjustments so we have a reference. If I turn off the two fill layers and enable the gradient map, we can see what the difference between the map created by the two fill layers and the simple gradient map we created earlier. Notice how the map created by the fill layers reaches the purple color earlier. If I add a node to the gradient map from the purple color, I can drag this to the left to recreate the map from the fill layer. Keep in mind that this was the setup where the blue layer was in color dodge mode, which is why the purple is stronger. If I turn off the gradient map and turn on the fill layers and change the blue fill layer back to screen, notice how the gradient looks different now. I will copy and paste this as a second reference and put it below our black and white gradient. I can now switch off the first reference map. Let's turn off the fill layers and compare this with the gradient map adjustment. First thing we notice is that the starting color has changed. Let's fix that by giving the gradient map adjustment the same starting color. Because we did not use the color dodge blend mode on the fill layer, notice how the gradient map is linear again. So if I remove the point near the purple, we get the same gradient again. As you can see, even though you can get the same effects with a gradient map, using the two fill layers works much easier. As the two layers affect each other in creating a natural blend of color, whereas in the gradient map, you need to manually adjust the best working color and gradient points. Things get even more complicated when you add blend ranges to the mix. I hope you liked this video and learned something new today. Thank you again for watching and until the next video.